How are we doing everybody? Um, just a video. I just want to say thank you to everybody that has been supportive over the last um, couple of weeks. Christmas was probably the worst I've ever had. Um, I didn't spend it with family. Christmas Eve and Christmas Day I was away from family. I went away um, and spent it with my mate Dave. Um, Dave's actually been a he's been a rock. He's been a he's been a great fella. But also my friend Denise has been an absolute unbelievable person. Um, my family's been great. My sister who's really helped me um, with a lot of stuff. Um, my brother. Listen, do you know what I've got? The thing is, guys, I've got a really good network around me, and I'm actually blessed for that because if I didn't, I'd have probably have topped myself. Um, my anxiety was so bad over Christmas. It was like on the scale of one to ten, it was a ten. Uh, I felt like I was having panic attacks all the time, and that was just because of all the negative thoughts that were running through my mind. Um, we create monsters in our head, and obviously we believe those monsters, and it gets worse and worse and worse, and then we end up just having panic attacks. And I wouldn't wish it on my worst enemy, um, but I've overcame it. I actually stopped taking my medication because with the quetiapine, it was making me really tired. So when I was tired, I was getting up late on a morning and it was making me really groggy. So it was kind of interfering in my training routine a little bit. But then I came off my medication and you know what? I just took a fucking crash. Really bad. And um, I just didn't want to be here. Um, Christmas was just a horrible time that I want to forget. Um, New Year, I had an early night, went to bed early and went out running on the morning on New Year's Day. I didn't drink. Um, do you want to know something? Um, I'm back seeing my mental health team now. Back on my medication, I'm taking my anxiety tablets, my quetiapine for my bipolar and I'm also taking CBD oil from Orange County CBD. They actually reached out to me to help me and I just want to thank them as well because you know what, it's sometimes in life just putting your hand out to help somebody in need can have a massive effect on that person's mind and to know people were there for me to help me, it was a positive boost for me and for me now to repay these people back is just shining with positivity and feeling good in myself, which I do now I'm not taking life for granted, and listen, I'm not saying every day is going to be a great day. We are going to get days where it's going to be cloudy, and it's going to be dark and muggy. But if we can get out on that dark day and do something productive and positive, we're there to actually handle the mental health. Because listen, it's not going to go away, but we can maintain it and manage it to a level where we can still get out there and do things that we enjoy. 2022 is going to be a big year. And I'm so fucking focused and I'm going to smash it. I'm going to create a massive podcast. I'm going to get out there, do my documentary podcasts, my normal podcasts, and I'm going to smash fuck out of it. I'm going to prove a lot of people wrong. And uh, I'm going to try and work on myself to love myself a lot better. I have very bad self insecurities that I need to work on. Paranoia. Um, I have that really bad. I get paranoid and... Where are your people? I don't have trust for people. Um, so I've got a lot to work on myself, but I also want to work on, on, the, on the podcast and building a successful show. And just it all having a domino effect in a positive way. And um, I'm doing my meditation on the morning. I'm sending the positive vibes into the universe. And hopefully they will come back to me, and I believe they will. Um, but like I say, man, thank you, everybody. And listen, never give up in life because... In that moment that you're going to take your own life, that switch of nothingness, you don't feel anything, no emotion, you just don't want to be here, and you don't think the consequences you're leaving behind, your family, your friends, your loved ones, you just want to get out of there. Before taking your own life, or if you decide to, or you want to, just watch this video and watch me. Because I was there. And now, 2022.
keep watching. You'll see.